Anya Tish Gallery is excited to introduce Mexico City-born, Houston-based artist Veronica Ibar Guingoentia in her inaugural exhibition with the gallery, Fractured Light. Sharing the gallery space with Ibar Guingoentia is Polish painter Paweł Dikiewicz with four new paintings from his ongoing series, After Image. Hailing from opposite ends of the globe, Mexico and Poland, the artists share a common language of abstraction in their exploration of the phenomena of space and light. Based in Krakow, Poland, painter Paweł Dikiewicz is returning to the gallery with four new paintings from his ongoing series, After Image. The artist explains, After Image is an image that continues to appear in one's vision upon closing the eyes after looking at the sun. It can also be described as traces left in the memory upon having contact with great works of art. There is a kind of sanctity and purity, and in the words of writer and composer Chris Becker, Pavel Dukevich's abstract paintings shimmer and glow with warm, rich colors like the windows of a space-age chapel. Hi, I'm Veronica Ibarwengoitia. This is my first solo exhibition, Fracture Light, with Anya Tisch Gallery. I'm very excited to share my work with you and it will be up until March 27th. Uh, one year ago, I started working with uh, the window subject matter. I was collecting pictures of friends, family and artists about their window view, but it was more for me about connecting us physical in, in, in sort of a way because we were isolated. So uh, from those images that they start coming and increasing my library, I start sketching drawings from them and then deciding what I'm going to do just to connect myself to them, uh, not just uh, as a window, uh, but more like uh, physical. So. Uh, it was more about to, co to build a space in my, in my space. So uh, I start thinking about what will happen if I actually build that object in my space to feel and to connect us physically closer. Um, so I start abstracting their images and then building that, that object in my world. Uh, I start doing it by doing maquettes and then actual building that object. Uh, but for me, the meaning for that was walking around it, moving around that piece, interacting with me, that piece in my world, so I can be part of their world at the same time. Portal. Uh, I was working in, with images about buildings at that time, and this piece came from three different images, two contemporary buildings here in the United States, and one old construction from London. Uh, I was merging those images to together in a new abstracted drawing, and also I wanted to introduce uh, physical element. Uh, that physical element is that step that I was building and it's more for me like an invitation to my work. It's the first time I was attempting to add three-dimensional objects to my paintings and also another important part in this painting is the scale. I wanted a human scale to make my viewer come forward to it and feel invited to my work. In those images I found a, a mark and it's that red organic form that I kept in my work. It's the only organic element playing against the geometric abstraction in my work. I decided to keep that part because it was part of the history of the images. 
Window 25 is the actual first piece of this new series about three-dimensional work. Uh, I think of this piece as how I was closing my series of paintings in two-dimensional paintings and the starting point of this new three-dimensional work. Uh, I was thinking of uh, of the interaction of the inside space and the outside and how I can connect both of them together and we were usually divided by this window pane and I wanted my, my, my windows not to be flat anymore I want that interaction to be a physical interaction so that's why I became and I was aiming to make my paintings emerge from the wall. So I start working with elements, to pull, pulling those elements from my images, from my photographs, and start developing more and more that, that work, that abstractions, to make those uh, geometric forms that were emerging and there were physical elements that were building up from the wall. Uh, in all my pieces, uh, I have, you have to walk around them and discover things. I want the viewer not just to look, look them in front of it, I want them to, to make you physical move around it because they will, they will change with the light, they will change with the shadows they cast, they, they, that's part of what I'm thinking when I'm building them, when I'm planning them. I'm thinking of the light, I'm thinking of the shadows, I'm thinking of what happens if I place the light here or if I move around here, what happens if this element comes forward or not, or if this element is hollow or it's solid. So, and, and that's because it's how we look at things at, at some point. It's how we interact with, with the world and with our spaces. Fractured Light and Actor Image will be on view at Anya Tisch Gallery until Saturday, March 27th, 